This is a quick tutorial on how to increase the performance of your shock mount system for road. First thing is to do regular maintenance on all of these tension points. The tool is included with the kit when you purchase it or it's just a regular Allen key. Avoid using any kind of Loctite on these. I often adjust these depending on the microphone I'm using and you need to be able to loosen them when need be. One of the things that's overlooked are these front Allen keys that are um, at the points that hold the suspension system to the blimp itself. You may find that after tightening the blimp into place it's still slightly loose. That could be because of these Allen keys on the top and the bottom uh, still allowing a little bit of play and that little bit of play translates into a lot of noise. The next thing that drives me nuts about these road blimps is the XLR mount point at the bottom of the handle. It's loose, it makes noise, it falls out. I don't know who designed it but a quick fix is electrical tape. I put a few rounds around the XLR itself, um, just enough so that it sits in snug, and I find that it doesn't give me any more troubles. The next thing I do is I also wrap electrical tape around the handle itself. I find these little gray pieces also tend to be a bit loose, and the handle itself feels a little clunky, but um, after a few rounds, it seems to tighten up, and everything stays in place as you would expect it to, and the noise goes away. Next up is the little rubber grommet at the back of the suspension system that nobody thought would be a good idea to keep fastened into place because obviously you want to take it off. No. So simple fix, apply a little bit of glue, um, either contact cement, crazy glue, or gorilla glue to the rubber grommet itself and to the place where it sits and push into place, allow to dry, and voila. And now my favorite fix for this road blimp, these suspension wires. You know it, I know it, they fall off with very little trouble, uh, especially when they're cold and the rubber itself gets stiff, uh, they just pop off. So the first thing I do is make sure that all of the four um, mount points are very tight. If you have some Loctite, this is the place to use it once you know the positioning you're going to be using. And then uh, after I fasten them with a good amount of tension, because these can come loose, is to get yourself a regular elastic band. Um, I use one that I got off of either asparagus or broccoli, you know, the thicker kind, it's a good rubber. I place it around all four of the mount points and it holds these um, suspension wires into place. It's a super easy fix and it turns this um, relatively inexpensive blimp into a high performing blimp because I find that between this and the rye coat with the new suspension mount system and now with Rhodes new suspension mount, um, this was one of the biggest issues. This is a super quick fix and it works and uh, will keep you running problem free for quite some time. Hope this helps. Hope you get clean sound. Enjoy.